Welcome to our solar electric trailer journey. Today we're going to share a story with you of the biggest EV problem we have ever had, but we'll also tell you how to prevent it from happening to you. Yeah, let me start. Uh, so I was uh, on a business trip to Puerto Rico and as I came back, I got off the airport shuttle in the parking lot there. and. As I was approaching the car, I reflected on the story that our hairstylist told us about her sister's EV that died at the airport. And so when I got in the car and started it up just like normal, I was very relieved that the, the car worked just fine. You know, one of the things that many people don't realize is that EVs have a 12 volt battery that's very similar to the 12 volt battery in a vice, a vehicle with an internal combustion engine. Just like a vice, it won't work, the car won't work if that 12 volt battery isn't charged. It can't suck power out of the big battery you use to move the car uh, without there being a charge in the little 12 volt battery. So uh, I drove down the road, uh, no problems at all, but on the way home, I decided to stop at uh, uh, Circle K right by the airport and I uh, pulled in after just a, a mile. And uh, when I pulled in, I noticed the car seemed to stop differently. The, the, the thing shut down hard. My top priority at that point was getting a soda. So I ran in, got the soda and came back out and I could not get that car to start. I couldn't get it to open right. I mean, it, everything was just dead. So I called Gail. So Devin called me to explain where he was because I was kind of wondering, it was getting later at night. And he told me t what was happening and he asked me to come and try and rescue him using our battery that we keep in the garage. So because we only have the one car, I called an Uber, grabbed the battery, and this is the battery we use. Uh, this was given to us by some wonderful friends and we use it all the time. We love this battery. It's got a tire pump on it, so we use it for uh, our car tires and our, the tires on our um, A-Liner Scout. And it took me about an hour to actually meet up with Devin. Yeah, so while I was waiting, I called, well, I used the AAA app on my phone to request help that never came from AAA. It was about 9.30 that night when Gail arrived. So we connected the battery to the 12 volt battery of the car to charge it up and we waited five minutes, but we had no luck. So we waited another five minutes and still no luck. And so we tried this multiple times without any luck whatsoever. Yeah. Then we got very sophisticated and shifted to 10 minutes of charging between attempts to start the car. <laughs> that didn't work any better. So we got more sophisticated and waited 30 minutes for it to charge the car. And this time we had some luck. We were excited. Yeah, so we got the car started, but apparently the juice doesn't flow from the big battery to the little battery until the car is in motion. I, I don't understand this. Uh, but we couldn't put the car in gear with the little battery attached to the external battery. So we had to disconnect. And when we disconnected, the car completely died. So we tried again. So we repeated the 30 minute wait and we still had no luck. Yep. So at that point, we realized that there were several nearby uh, hotels. You know, we're right by the airport and so there are a bunch of hotels within walking distance. So at, at that point we tried to get and got permission yeah. from the Circle K folks uh -huh. to let us leave the car there overnight. We didn't want the car towed on us so we got permission. So we walked to the nearest hotel. They would not let us, they would not rent a room to us because we were Jacksonville residents and they said no luck. Yeah. So we walked to the next hotel and thankfully they gave us a room and we crashed for the night. Yeah, we had a full day planned the next day. So we got up early so that we could get going. Yeah, so I called uh, auto parts dealers until I found one that had a battery that would work, Ubered over, picked it up, Ubered back <laughs> uh, and uh, got underway. So Devin installed the battery himself using YouTube and we <laughs> love YouTube videos. It's great for us, yeah. we, we learn a lot but we only had limited tools to work with. It was just the tools that we had in the car. Yeah, thank heaven I had a crescent wrench, which, which was barely adequate, but we did get it done. The interesting thing was the battery didn't fit very well. That was, that was a little bit troubling, but the, the auto parts store gave us a, offered us a rebate if we would bring the old battery back. So we, the first thing we did was to go back there and I asked the guy why the battery didn't fit very well. Well, he had sold us a battery that fit a Chevy Volt. Our car's a Chevy Bolt. 
she, we needed to get the right size battery and they didn't have any in stock. So they said they would order one for us and to come back in the afternoon to pick it up. So we did, we went back in the afternoon, busy, frantic day. Yeah. We went back and, and yeah. they were very gracious. They didn't charge us for the difference. The ba yeah. Bolt battery is a little more expensive than the Bolt battery and they did swap it out for us. It was fun to watch yeah. them do it because it took yeah. them about five minutes to do it. It had taken me an hour to do. Well, they had the right tools and this was not the first time they've ever done it. So yeah. that was great to see. We spent about $200 on top of the battery, but we also spent about eight hours dealing with this problem but it could have been much worse. Yeah, you know, we both spent eight hours on this. So I mean, a yeah. lot of man hours went yeah. into this at our house. Uh, but imagine how much worse it could have been uh, if this had gone out in bad weather, a mo more remote place, yeah. if it had died in a bad part of town. I mean, all kinds of things could have happened that would have made this really a dangerous, scary situation. So you really don't want to have this yeah. happen to you. No, 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 no. So you're probably wondering how you can prevent this from happening to you. Buy a new battery before the old battery dies. There are two ways to determine when your battery's lifespan is about over. There's an easy way and a hard way. Devin will explain the hard way and I'll explain the easy way. And the hard way isn't very hard, but uh, if you use a voltmeter to test the voltage after a, a decently long drive, at least 20 minutes, so the battery is as charged up as it's gonna get, and then wait and check with the voltmeter again an hour later. If that goes down, that tells you the battery's having trouble holding a charge. If it remains constant, then your battery's in good shape and you can keep going. I'm just going to give you a quick demo on how to uh, check the, the voltage with your uh, simple voltmeter in your car to see if your battery is deteriorating. So I've got this budget uh, voltmeter here. Uh, it will check the voltage on the battery pretty easily. So what we'll do is we'll connect the, um, the red uh, to the positive and we'll connect the black to the negative. And uh, we'll see that we're generating 13.84 volts, which is plenty. We, we would typically expect a 12 volt battery to be delivering a little more than 12 volts. That's healthy. Uh, if it's below 12 volts, that suggests it's not healthy. The biggest test is whether it declines rapidly over uh, an, an hour when the car is not operated and not uh, plugged in. Well, here's the easy way. The Bolt OEM battery lasts about four years. We were lucky that ours lasted 5.7 years. Do a quick Google search. I highly recommend that you do a quick Google search on your EV's 12 volt battery's lifespan. Do it right now and put it into your calendar of when that lifespan is over and buy yourself a new battery before it dies. Yeah, that's no guarantee, but that's sure a good way to, to prevent the kind of night that we had. Uh, Replacing a battery is a bit challenging uh, without the right tools. So be sure to, that you have on hand, if you want to do this yourself, uh, a good socket wrench set with, the most importantly, a long extension. Because it's uh, a nut that is whoo, clear right down in there. there. Yeah. So check your estimated 12-volt battery lifespan right now. Thank you for joining us. We'll see you next week. When we heard our Rivian wouldn't be delivered until Christmas of 2023, we decided to see what we could tow with our Chevy Bolt. Launching our solar electric trailer journey. We have a lot to learn and we're sharing what we discover along the way. We've added solar panels to our A-Liner Scout pop-up trailer. Preparing us for doing the same on a bigger trailer when the Rivian arrives. Join us by subscribing now.